Hi, I'm Sportster Paul. We're going to try to assemble a body solid EXM 3000.9. It came, busted, the pallet was all broken up because it's 1200 pounds. Check this out. So we'll see. I was thinking there might be some rhyme or reason to the boxes. So like, okay, you open this box and build the base. Then you open this box and you build this. Now, it's just whatever was convenient. They pick certain sizes boxes. So, the, so I was trying to keep stuff together. Oh, this came from that box. That's hopeless. And, you know, there's tricks about the fasteners. Some fasteners are a quarter of an inch longer than others. So you got to, you know, there's stuff here. Oh, the other thing that really is delightful, they printed it double-sided to save four cents in paper cost. So now you can't lay this out. And we'll show you pictures. I'm going to lay, I printed it single-sided. You find a PDF on the internet. Print it out single-sided, lay it all out, and kind of see what on earth. It, it's almost like it's backwards. Pay, they thankfully numbered big text Roman numeral pages, or not Roman, Roman type, page 9, page 10. It's like it's backwards. It's like the last page seems to be the least assembled thing, but then there's super page 6 that actually calls out. That's where you can find the bolt lengths and other mysteries. So anyway, what I'm going to do is unpack it all the way, Get the, get the strapping all thrown away. It's garbage day uh, tomorrow, so I'll get that in the garbage. Get all the boxes. Check out the boxes just in the dining room so far. Okay, so we got boxes for days, and there's more because we'll unpack. There's stuff over here you can't see. We'll get it all out. And I've already got a, a little bit after studying and studying and trying to figure it out. I've got, like, I think three pieces that you can recognize. And this is where I gave up. It's like, I thought, well, they cable tie all this stuff together. Maybe that's what they're trying to tell us. Keep the cable ties on till the last minute. No, not near as I can figure, no help. So I'm going to get all these boxes up out of here, separate everything, put them in, you know, spread them out so we can see it, and then hopefully show you the procedure where you start with these pieces, put these bolts in, and build it from there. This is not assembly instructions. This is a bunch of sketches, a bunch of diagrams of stuff kind of together with... We're back. It only took an hour or two. There actually is page order. It looks like page six is where the assembly starts. But then what fooled me was, as you go further, they'll take stuff that they bolted on in page six and remove it. And they bolt an immense amount of stuff on where I was looking for, let's get the base and let's do the little TP thing. That ain't going to happen. But I think I understand. Uh, first, you know, that single-sided print, I'm using the double-sided one they shipped with here to, to refer to. Uh, set them up all single-sided like I did up on the kitchen. There's a picture of that. And then be real careful with the bolts. Some bolts are a quarter of an inch longer than another. And then there's some washers that the outside diameter is a little smaller. They're more like AN, Army Navy style washers that aren't as big for the same hole in the middle. So you got to watch that. Lay the bolts out, measure them with a tape measure. I got one up there, and I've laid that out. <clears throat> there's mystery stuff, like there's these feet, right? It's like, that's where you want to start. I want this thing on nice rubber feet so I can slide it around and start building it. There's one here, but over here, they don't use the same foot. And it confused me because it doesn't show on page six why they're doing that. That's because this little thing where you put your feet, it's a station where you sit on the floor and pull something, I don't know. That goes here. So they can't use this cool guy rubber foot. But let's start. Uh, they do put, what is this, orange, a yellow orange dot on three places on that thing, on this angled one. You know, you're just gonna have to look for the shapes. So find this angle shape. This stuff wasn't all in the same box. Don't even think about that. That's why I took everything and, the, the garbage is full, the dining room is full of boxes. But if we can believe it, there's, oh, there's a YouTube about assembled, what is this thing, EX300 or EXM3000? They have this on the other side. I'm going to build it according to the documentation. Hopefully it's right. So this is pretty basic. It's got a slotted thing. You put this here, in it goes. This one should be every bit as easy. I'm not sure you can slip it over. There we go. I'll pull it back. Well, it's to clear this bolt, 
See, that none of that's particularly clear. So this thing's ready. I'm not going to bolt this on now because it's not on page six, and there'll be some reason that'll screw you up. It's the other thing you got to watch. Something like on the other end of this, they only put one of the bolts in because something else is going to piggyback on the right-hand bolt. I don't know. Okay, the tricky stuff. I've got my, some, some wrenches. It's uh, a 3 4 inch wrench and socket and a 9 16 wrench and socket because there's half inch and 3 8 First thing to screw you up, I got the bolts here ready. These things. There's stuff that goes on the bottom, and if you don't know to, if you don't read this drawing carefully enough to figure that out, you'll have to knock the machine or jack it up or do something to get these little rubber pieces in. Kind of rubbery. It's got two protrusions on it. This long piece, this is the piece. It's got like a T shape here. Can you see that? Look for this T shape. These things snap right there and right there. Okay, then the other thing is that same one, you know, over here that we did the open foot, not, not the one that slides in the end, but the one that goes around. This takes this, this long center, this is the heart of the machine. Okay, there's one right up there, and then this one is just this vertical, <laughs> can you see it? Oh gosh, this vertical thing. It's just on the other side of that. There we go, easy money. I'm gonna come down here, hopefully you can see me. There's one, another one of these open feet it goes here. Snap that in, and you can slide these. Now here, this is a red dot, and a red dot, and it's longer. There's one that's almost identical, that's got the same slots, it's shorter, that's for the foot station or something that's gonna go on that side or the back side. And I might rotate this whole thing around. But this longer one, what is it? It's easily a foot and a half long. So same deal, slot, <laughs> if you can. Why is it fighting me? I don't know. There we go, beautiful. This takes them on both sides. Put it in, in the slot, get it started. Got some scrapes on this thing, it's a shame. And then we can straighten this up the way it's gonna be in real life. It's down on its rubber feet now. And then this is what's tricky, they only showed one bolt. The, uh, uh oh, there goes, my, uh, there goes my microphone. Am I still getting signal? Yeah. Uh, let me see, this is a short one. This is a three inch. And remember, there's three inch and then where they piggyback two metal plates for an upright, that's three and a quarter. So you gotta you know, actually measure, make sure you got the right one. It shows the washer is on the head of the bolt. It comes from the outside and they're only doing this one. Come on. Prevailing torque nuts, which I hate, they don't free run. It's really dangerous not to tighten stuff. For my Harleys, I always got in the habit of, no, let's, uh, I'll take a picture of this right here so you can see what's going on. Uh, never get in the habit of just finger tight and then go about and doing stuff. I always felt it was smarter to tighten the stuff. That way, the front end doesn't fall off while you're going down the road. But, see, that's why I hate these prevailing torque. But I wanted it pretty snug. Ooh, look at this. It's, uh, it opened a gap here. That's the kind of problems when you have busted up bad crating. Okay. Once again, page A6. There's a weight stack here, right? That's what this little T-shaped thing is. The two bars and the weight. There's two weight stacks. So one's here, one's here. Same deal. Here's the shorter shorter uh, foot, it, it, the part's missing so far, it's gonna be over there, but I got it out, once again, I don't think this is shown in, perfect. But I'll just have it over here because we're gonna use that. This is the piece, I hope you can recognize these pieces, the, kind of the same T-shaped thing. We got that done, flip it over. So this is this T-shaped piece, Rubber things here, 
open foot here. These are, page A6, these are 3 ace bolts, so 9 16 head. They're the same, the head, the bolt, and the nut are the same, 9 16 thankfully. And these are 2 and 3 quarter inch long. They're A7 by their numbering system. So a single washer, there's a slot here, so I know that that's why they want the washer on the head side. I'm surprised they don't do them on both. When I was at a military contractor, they taught us, well, first, they hated these prevailing torque nuts because they don't free run. You got to turn, turn, turn. So and this one, come on. Get in the right way. It's the other thing you got to have them the right way around. So, make sure it's still recording, yes. Oh, actually, silly enough, I like to, let's open it up a little. Okay, now it's, Put them in the middle of the slot. I'm, I'm really that goofy. This Craftsman, it's got this lever here. It is the easiest thing to accidentally reverse the direction. All right, now, hopefully, without touching too much other stuff, we can just snug this up. 9 sixteenths, remember, don't go nuts. Don't use like a half inch. If it gets loose after a couple of years, okay, you know, maybe, maybe you didn't tighten it enough. But in general, it's a slab foundation in this house, so I'm pretty sure it's flat, but this might be a case, I can't remember if I already said this, where you loosen everything up so it finds its home, but for now, I like to tighten it. Next is a little tricky. This piece, which has got the full slide in foot here, the open foot here, because that metal thing is going to go in and pocket in. But it also does something I don't like. It ties in with this piece. It's got the, uh, can you guys see that? The L shape. This is back to half inch fasteners and they are three and a quarter okay these are the ones slightly longer because you know we got two flanges three and a quarter no washers Let's see if I can get it started see this is the kind of like I say I, I feel A lot more positive about body solid after seeing the quality of this equipment. It's awesome. You know, things like, like, like this, just to feel everything. This is the real deal. So now we got to use, let's see, get rid of this. We need a deep well three quarter. Hopefully, we're still on ready tidy. Use my head to kind of. Yeah, uh, it's not a big angle. Did get scuffed up in shipping. That's a shame, but not scuffed up enough. I'm going to send it back. We'll see how the e e e Amazon vendor treats me. Oh, if there's any parts missing, you know, we'll, we'll make it right. I get the impression this was just sitting around their warehouse for a year. And okay. Oops, come on. All right, another piece, and that's here. It, it's gonna go here and up. There'll be two open things coming up. And this is th half inch uh, bolt, three inches long. No washer on either side. So I got the, the bolts and the nuts here. Let's 
see if I can get this thing up. This is some heavy stuff. It's not clear to me. Okay, because there's two holes here, a slot and a hole, and I don't think that's it. Yeah, it's not. Okay, good. See, the nice thing, once the bolts are in, they're like pins, and you don't got to mess with it. Ouch, don't hit your head, Paul. Like I say, this is a case where maybe I shouldn't tighten everything. Leave it loose, because when I put this top part in, we're going to figure that out. Make sure, you know, there's, there's quite a bit of compliance in these. And if you ever had a Harley Davidson motorcycle, an old one, I have iron sportsters, hence my moniker. You, uh, you understand about leaving some stuff loose, other stuff tightening it all the way. I'm going to kind of snug this pretty good. One thing that would help, the Harley parts manual actually numbers, the old ones, I don't know about now, but the old Iron Sportster ones, the numbering in the parts manual was kind of the order they went together or came apart. And that kind of gave you a hint. This thing isn't quite helping. Now we got to find this piece. Oh, I even know what I'm looking for. It's the one with the little curly cues. Here it is. I remember this thing. I believe oh, it's going to go like this. I'm pretty sure. Just like that, will it stay? This is really dangerous to leave stuff propped up and you can't see it, so I'm gonna readjust the camera. I'm gonna turn the camera off, figure out the bolts. That thing might come down on top of me. I just got it hanging. Uh, back up so you can see it and get the top structure going, which is a big deal. This is good news. I see the camera's still running. Okay, back in a flash. All right, we're back. Set this. I got this top piece I just on top. It's got these little black hooks. It's not too hard to recognize. As you start using the stuff up, there's stuff left to find. So hopefully you'll be able to get it straight. I've got a, I think this is a five inch. I just got it loose assembled right now. Five inch bolt and nut. I don't believe, oh no, there is a washer up here. But I, that might have to come back out. This one, is a three inch, and it definitely is gonna to have to come back out because there is this assembly that pigtails onto it. So I don't know, this is, <laughs> this is why a lot of folks, oh, I know what to do. Use a five inch just as a pin. Then we can get this guy out of here. Hopefully, get this. So it said body solid somewhere, didn't it? Oh no, this is the top piece. What am I doing? I'm confused. I thought I just had it. See what I mean about getting turned? Oh, here it is, down here. This is, and, and I should note, yellow dot, yellow dot, yellow dot, yellow dot, yellow dot. So they're trying to help. Bali solid, obviously they want you to read it. So this is gonna go like this. There's a threaded nut welded in here. So hopefully. Oh, we got it. Now we can move this, slide this five inch out. And it's stable, right? We got this one started. I don't believe there's a nut. Now this is just a plain three inch, half inch bolt. Goes into, the th this is welded nut threaded, no separate nut. Then underneath from here is a three and a quarter inch. That's the slightly longer one. 
And I actually, you know, I'm, I'm not beneath like, yeah, three and a quarter. Make sure. And while I'm making sure, sorry to be off camera, three and a quarter, no, just a nut. So let's get a nut. Come from this direction. Excellent smithers. This goes here. We got that one pinned so it ain't going anywhere. What are we doing? I guess we can just do this. No, we can't. <laughs> we can do that on the... And because I'm lazy, let's do it. Man, when this tightens, it tightens. And this one, oh, I gotta just use a crescent wrench, which I hate to do. Okay, two five inch bolts, two nuts, one washer. How's it gonna work? See, I just looked at it a second ago. This is what people who design stuff don't realize. You know, if you designed it, you know exactly what your intent was and you remember. That one has its washer and its nut and its bolt, it's done. This next one, this isn't drawn right either. The, the perspective is wrong. This is a plain nut going on. Let's put this down. Plain nut, this thing should be fairly obvious how this goes. Adjust the cable here. Is this it? I don't think so. Flip it around. Is this going to be it? Yes. Because obviously the pulleys are going to run up and down. Now, let's see if we can get this in here. Oh, maybe I have a design problem here. Cause, or do they come from underneath? Huh? Let's, let's do it. That wasn't a good sign. And quick, quick, before anything else goes wrong. Just a no washer, no washer. Uh, and people complain about Ikea, Ikea, or how do you say it? But there is a washer underneath, and that makes sense, because there's a slot here. So that's what's going on. Five inch here. Through. Come on. There it is. But because this is a slot to allow for slop, that's why they want the washer. So we're doing okay. Now there's things I can see, you know, from the finished, finished design. It's tempting to say, oh, I know where that goes. I'll bolt it on because I can see it. You know, they wrote the instructions this way. Oh, and that's one thing. Tightening this up doesn't make sense until we get the, uh, the weight stacks. All that's got to go in. So we got a loose assembled. Hopefully, yeah, so we'll be able to get that off. This one we can tighten, I believe. Did we? Yeah, this one's already snug. So, let me go figure out all the weight stack stuff, another hour or whatever it's gonna take. Get that in before we tighten this. All right, still on page six, working our way slowly. All right, so now we found these white, they call them, we're on page six still, AD, these white things. Rubber bushing for, so that's got it. They're loose at the top, right? That, that whole piece with the five inch bolts still has to go on. But we've got that going. Meanwhile, I'm gonna have to unbox the weight stacks. All that stuff's gotta go on. And that's gonna make this thing incredibly heavy. So it's getting to be time to decide where to put it. What I might do, this is where you get in trouble, right? <laughs> I want to decide, you know, the, the squat thing where you're pushing on your feet. Do I want this on this side? Do I want it up against this window here? How do I want to arrange this? And once I get those weight stacks on, I don't think this thing's going to slide around too easy. It's, it's not too bad now. Yeah, it's great now. 
So I might change, change up their procedure a little to get the overall, like the stuff in the back here, that sit down thing. I think I'm gonna look ahead and try to get that. Maybe I'll pull these rods out so they're just not flailing around like this and get the overall size of the machine. It's, it's, what I'm pleased is it's smaller than I feared. I was afraid it was gonna fill this whole room and I got a treadmill over there, be in the way. It's gonna be a nice compact gym. I'm really happy with this thing. So that's gonna work out. And just like I said, when I was sure I didn't have those AD white standoff, they're steel, right? The, the, the drawing, you know, are they little, are they big? I guess you gotta kind of infer if they got a half inch hole through the middle and a two inch rubber donut fits on the top. But they were here, so far, I, you know, everything has been everything and the important stuff like that has to go on underneath stuff, right? So I'm gonna keep looking. I, like I said, I wanna look at what it takes to finish over there, get the base of this thing down. They want us to build all this weight and structure, I guess because they must figure it's easier access if you don't have this stuff in the back. I'm more like, well, I'd really like to get the footprint of the machine established. So let me go look into this, read ahead, read backwards, spin around, and see what I can come up with. And when we be back, we'll probably be a different setup because I'll have figured out what goes where. Like I say, nothing in the boxes or what's strapped together with twist ties makes, or uh, cable ties makes any sense. It's not trying to help you assemble it. Just take everything apart, throw it on the floor like I did, and hopefully you got all the parts. So far, so good. Okay, see you in a little bit. All right, we're back. I, uh, I'm glad I didn't put the weight stack in because I tried it one way, and then this thing over here where you sit on the floor and pull something, well, maybe that should be against the wall and the windows here. So right now, I'm gonna keep putting it together and get this squat station, which is the reason I bought this thing, that it's got this squat station to do your thighs and calves, lower body, and you can do, uh, do your calves as well by pushing on it. So same thing, tricky. The tricky thing is it's the biggest piece. Oh, this big, you see it? One, one big welded piece, but the trick is those plastic feet that snap on from underneath. You gotta get it now, otherwise, you know, you'll regret it. So there's two of them. It uh, wasn't really clear. It looked like the one went here before this curve and the other one is up there. It actually showed it in line with this and I don't know. We've jumped ahead, which is dangerous, right? We're on page seven now. And so this made it pretty clear. There's this strut that goes here, two holes to pick that up. And then six bolts, two for this arm, two for the lower here, and two for the upper. And those are gonna pick up, uh, let me move it, right about there. So these are, see, once again, it's fair to mark stuff up, right? You, you know, they make you, oh, A7, what's an A7? You gotta go look another P. You're allowed to just write it right here. Two and three quarter, it's a nine sixteenths head, which means it's a three eighths bolt. The, they all take washers and I bet, yeah, it's kind of slot there. So the washer, let's just make sure. They're showing it come from out here, so. I think you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, I thought I, this goes here. This piece does not take any of those rubber feet. As a matter of fact, I think I've used them all. It's like this thing kind of floats. Now, this piece, although they don't show it, this is what I mean. They take stuff off, thinking they're simplifying things. This piece here that was in for a while, you know, this T-shaped thing that holds these rods, that does have a rubber foot on it. <clears throat> but this new piece with the swoopy deal, no. So, oh, we need a washer. Come on. And two nuts, nine sixteenths head. <clears throat> this one, I think, let's just finger tight stuff. You know, I said not to do that. Just finger tight it here. And then I've got the six bolts for this side. Same deal, I believe the washers all go, yeah. So, Two and three-fourths inch, three-eighths bolt with a washer. Washer comes here because there's a slot. 
Let's see if we can find that. There we go. Pull it up. Come on, baby. There we go. Get a nut. Where'd the nuts go? Here they are. I can see there's some angles and stuff. So it's probably good we're going to loose assemble this. And I wanted to do this whole part of it to get the footprint of the machine, where I'm going to sit. We'll back up and you'll be able to see, you know, what I'm thinking about and why I want to do it now. Once those weight stacks go in, I don't think this thing's going to slide around very easy. Now we'll do this one. Can't see it because of this pulley. Come on. There we go. Nut. I'm wondering how level the floor is because this thing isn't really as laying flat as I want. I assume once I get all the weight in this thing, it will, you know, things will bend until it's laying flat. Get it? Yep. Okay. Now this thing, since there was no feet on this, this one, I assume it's got to go up a little. Since this isn't a slot, just the, the washer goes on the other side. Washer goes here. So the bolt comes from this side. Got it. Yeah, it's up a little. That all makes sense. I thought about getting a big mat to put down. Decided against it. It's like, if anything, if I do want to move this even a couple inches, I'm doing a lower one now. This is where we'll see how good their welding jigs are and body solid. Ah, the welding jigs are just fine. Bless their heart. <clears throat> Come to this one. This one I know would fit because it's easy to hold tolerances on coals this close that are machined in the same operation. So then this one. So here's our six three eighths bolts. The other thing, yeah, if I haven't mentioned it, I love that it's English fasteners like a Harley. Okay, so it's loose assembled. I'm not sure how I want to. This thing's in hard, so maybe start this one first. I don't know. Ready, tidy. Yep. <clears throat> Still recording? Yes, indeed. I'm not going to go crazy with torque on these. You can put a lot on a 3 8 bolt, but when you bolt up tubing like this, all you end up doing is crushing the tube. This is good stuff, but it isn't so good that they've welded a little ferrule in where every bolt goes to keep the tube from crushing. So. choke up like this, this is when this thing flips to the other, other direction, the, uh, the ratchet. I don't know why I keep it in my main toolbox. It's the worst ratchet I've ever used. How it ended up there and I had three or four and I split them up, you know, one in the garage, one in the workshop, one in the CNC machine. Okay. 
You can always do the nut side as well. And even though I might end up loosening all these so the thing flattens out or does, you know, finds its resting spot, I prefer to just tighten everything as we go. Get these, I think I already got these, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, do these. See when you got six on that side and two on this side, yeah, there's like an uneven gap here. I'm closing up. You hate to see that, you know, that the bolts are pulling stuff flush and true. Okay, so that's how you can get an idea now of the footprint of the machine. How close do I want it to the window? Like I said, it's more compact than I feared from some of the pictures. So this is going to work out. I got these bars like rubber bands just kind of holding them because it's, that top bracket isn't mounted yet. And we're going to figure out the weight stacks and all of that. Maybe put the chair and get some of this stuff finished so I can get an idea of entry and exit and how I walk up and where I want, where I want spacing. I'll show you this stuff over here too. Can you see it? No, it's off camera. But that place where you sit on the floor and pull, that's a, that's a station, one of the many stations. I love this thing. It's got so much. Two weight stacks, three sitting stations, and that thing over there on the floor. So we'll be back. I'm going to go scratch my head some more about finishing up this bench. And uh, they just... I don't understand. You know, they got their red dots to help you put stuff together. But, but for my money, you should think about get the basic structure. And then here's all the little stuff with pulleys and rope and all the things like that. And it does bother me that this is captivated. There, there's no way to deal with the weights without having that top bracket completely off. Because that's a heavy goof. Of course, once the weights are here, I bet you none of this is going to move very much. It'll have all this weight stabilizing these bars. So we'll see what that's all about. We'll be back as soon as we can get back on this. All right, page eight, page seven now. Or no, I'm sorry. I said seven. This is page 10. So page 10, we got found these parts. And now there's a little bit less stuff. And so it's a little less uh, intimidating for what remains to be done. All right, catch you in a bit. All right, wanted to get the footprint. We're still on page 10. <clears throat> we jumped ahead, did page six for this stuff, red dot, red dot. Then we got the, the sit station for squats and stuff here. And then I forgot, remember we prepared this? This is the shorter one, right? There's a long one here. This one is a little over a foot long. This goes here. Let me move my ethernet cable out of the way. Uh, same deal, I believe. Blue dot. Right there. Uh, I don't know. Looks to be symmetrically opposite. So it'll go either way. And, <clears throat> excuse me. Turn it right side up would help. Where is this thing? There it is. Washer. Is, we're back to half inch bolts. This is the three inch long. This is the last one. So the three inch long. So I hope I got everything counted right. That's going to go here. If I can get it through. Oh, perfect. Same deal. Still haven't figured out where the smaller outer diameter half inch washers are going to go. Here, I forgot to bring the. Uh, get the nuts on this side.
Okay, nice and snug. All right, I'm going to do one part at a time because that's what I can figure out. There's a beam that comes up. This plate mounts what's called pillow blocks. They were in this box, KBM bearing units. And it, they also come with, they were in this visqueen or plastic. And there's Allen wrenches to tighten the collar here. There's zerk fittings. I don't know, which way do you point the zerk fittings? Probably out that way, I guess. This is where three washers, those ones with the smaller outside diameter, I'll take a picture and uh, show you that they're like AN style, Army Navy style washers, where the outside diameter is much smaller than a SAE, Society of Automotive Engineer uh, washer. And that was intended, you can kind of, it's another mystery. It's like, it's not clear the way they call it out, IDOD, they don't, they don't, it's not simple. But there's four of them, and it matches the bill of material, and it would make sense that that's what they want spanning over this pillow block to get the motion that they need. Here, these are half inch fasteners, but an inch and three quarter. They're threaded all the way up. And you know, measure them, make sure you got the right ones. There's only four of them. All this starts to make sense. Put that here, get our washer. You know, you can see this. Do this one, get our washer. Do this one, get our washer. And then the nuts are the same nuts, <clears throat> half inch. Well, I don't know what they are, half inch 20. And then the part, it's not too hard. It's got this chrome business, that's what the collar is inside, these pillow blocks are going to pick up. And then this big long flat thing, right, this one wasn't too hard to recognize. The goofy flat thing where the pulleys mount go here to pick up this pulley. Let's see if I can, oh yes, 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 put it here. And can we just, oh nice. Nice. I'm really happy. You know, we're on page 10 again. Skipped ahead. We started with page 6 and got most of the structure going. But I obviously have a different thinking on how things are supposed to be assembled. Where I want to get the... Uh, come on. I want to get the overall footprint of this machine so I can slide it around. Oh, I've made a mistake. The, uh, or no, I, I kind of want this. I want the Zerks to be pointing the same, which means the Allen that, that holds the inner race to this chromed up shaft here, they're both pointing that way. I guess that's just going to have to be the way it is. Not quite symmetrical, but there's plenty of space here to get all that dialed in. Fastener quality isn't too bad. And so, yeah, so there's compliance. Can we get... Here, let's push these close. And... Let's see, we're going to... If we push here, it's going to pull them this way. So that's probably a good tip. At least these bolt heads are uh, three-quarter bolts, so that, that's kind of nice. You can use a regular wrench instead of that crescent wrench. Once again, I don't know how... You know, is this one of these that I'll be loosening up? one. 
I want the uh, the pillow blocks moved this way because that'll that'll be the force as you push out on this. It's it the pulleys here are pulling this whole thing back, so I figure slide it back to begin with, and that's one less thing to get loose and go wonky. It does seem a little bit. Maybe we gotta loosen this one up. I think that'll be okay. We're gonna get just get close, I think. This is another classic thing. I guess to point the Zerks out where you'd be greasing it from that way. Probably got to grease it once every 20 years for his slow and low speed. Okay. Did I flip this? Yeah. Gotta hit the socket. I think that's pretty good, and we'll uh, get the uh, Allen wrenches. It's kind of in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> no, see that? We may have to flip that one around just so the collars. God, this is what I hate. Well, let's put it off. I'm not sure it needs those Allens tightened. Leave the Allen right here next to the pillow blocks and uh, figure that out. I sure, you know, they got, they got like an inch. They could have moved them in. I don't know why they, uh, they did that. Maybe they just didn't realize some of us want both Zerks pointing in the same direction, but one piece, one step closer, okay? So we're gonna go figure out the other couple pieces till we get, I might even mount the seat, because I haven't shown those, those are all stacked over there. I can see all the soft stuff. Yeah, I kind of know what this is. And throw them all up against the wall. So maybe we get that just so we can get figured out how we'll get in and get out and all of that while we can still slide the machine around. Back when we figure out the next couple parts. All right, back. This uh, base piece was pre-assembled with this steel pin black phosphated with, with nuts on both. And this part here is symmetrical. It does have little drain holes here, so I figured I'd put those this way. It's got a blue dot, I suppose, to help. What I did want to do, I ran and got some of my Belray Molly Coat assembly lube with Molly Lube, molly, molybdenum, is that how you say it? Which is like little tiny molecular ball bearings. Really great for high pressure stuff. It's got bronze bushings. I assume they're the oil, oiled bushings that'll last forever, but I just figure why not, look at this stuff, it's like tar. Why not just put a little bit of uh, Bell Ray on this bad boy? Put some in here, put some in here. And let's see how we do oops. I'm getting it dirty already. I'm gonna get my shirt dirty too. I was prepared to brought paper towels. This is insidious stuff, but that's why it's so nice. Let's see if this flops all the way down. It sure does. And I think the way this is going to work, if I can clean stuff half decent. <laughs> oh man, this is leaving a mess. But I like it. 
and then hopefully these are all three three quarter inch. everything right okay it just stopped you can just tell but it swings meaning in theory oh yeah that's just what we want and I have made a mess but that's life I'm a Bell Ray oriented guy okay oh, I'm gonna have, to have a time clean but that's it sticks so good there and then I notice well this has got to be something dialed in I'm pretty sure it goes like this because this is what picks up the, the plate. Same deal. Steel pins. Oh, what are we doing? Here we are. Ah. Here. Once again, if there was any kind of instructions whatsoever in this thing. Excellent. It's getting more of a mess. So that's this nut. Parallelogram structure. Now you got to make sure as you tighten it, you don't tighten the nut against the shoulder. Hopefully that will be. Oh, you can actually see here. Good. There's all kinds of dirt. Oh, see, it just gets nice and tight. So come on, Mr. Bell. I don't like that. I see all kinds of like machining or I don't know what the heck was in there, but I don't like it. But you don't use this on roller bearings because it actually makes the bearing skate a little. Molly is only for plain bearings. Yeah, let's get this guy a little bit. See right through it. Coming from the back, am I still recording? Yep, how about that? Get this up here. See, now it doesn't want to go in. It's always the last one. And then this might be loosening this stuff up to get this thing to move, or I don't know what we're going to do to get this. Get this last little bit. But it ain't going where it's supposed to. Not the best practice to pull it in like that. Uh, I will probably want to loosen these down here to get all this. See, no instructions. This is what happens. Ah, see that? That was just one side. Let's do both sides just in case.
I suppose we'll go this way, kind of. Let's see if we can snug it up. Let's go on this side. This is a good place to... Learn the principles of sequential tightening. Okay. That's what I like. I got my hands filthy with that Molly Lube, but I like it. Good. Loosen that thing up, filthy. <laughs> There's black stains everywhere. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but it'll clean up a little bit of Clorox wipes. I actually got a jar of them the other day. So now let's see if we can. Oh, okay. There's plenty of compliance here. Let's do it like this. Matter of fact, I'm going to leave, I'll see this one. Uh, that may be for a future thing to flip that pillow block around so that the Allen wrench is on the inside where it'll pick up some meat right now to get, I figure, center it here and this where the black rubber stop is because that'll put the pulleys in line, which is going to be important. That's another thing to check. Dirty, dirty, but... This black thing. Some of this was together, right? I think because this is an accessory you can order. So this box did seem to have stuff that belonged together. But then, but not everything, because there's like pull down. There's overhead pull downs. It's like, oh, there's a box. Throw stuff in it. <sighs> it's not as scratched up as I feared, though. Okay, well, that uh, we'll find the tread plate. I know. For, excuse me for a fact. It's over there. So we'll get that. Get it roughed in, start dragging it around, see where I want it in the room, and then uh, get the weight stack and the rest of the stuff, the upper body stuff going. All right, back in a flash. Okay, uh, discrepancy in the, the documentation, quote unquote. Page 10, where shows this assembly, it shows this little kick pointing up, but the overall drawing shows the kick on the bottom, this little angle here. Oh, can you even see that? Probably not. Ah, oh, this is heavy. This is good stuff. So you know, there's a little angle here, kicked out. The top assembly, page whatever. I'm getting my work out. It takes the slightly longer half inch bolts, three and a quarter. Oops, it has washers on the top, I believe. Let me look just to make sure I know what I'm doing. Yeah, washer on the top. Now that's strange, the way it's drawn. That's another mistake. It shows it going into this part first and then magically somehow transmogrifying. That's a mistake. All right, a couple of mistakes we found. So washer, half inch from the top. And then the nuts from the bottom. You got kind of a relieved slot around this, I think, to help deal with tightening it up. Oh, yeah, because look, it says body solid here. You want that right side up. So now the little kick, the little angle is down here, right? Makes sense. I think you can even see it. 
So a little page 10 screw up. I use the deep well, three, uh, three quarter inch socket. This is once a back into the crescent wrench. So this isn't going to tighten, tighten. I mean, I could, I could crush it and bend those flanges, but I'd rather just leave it a little loose. See if we can get on it this way. It's going to be the last thing. Same day, this got delivered today. It was also the day my water heater starts leaking. So I got that fun to deal with tomorrow. But there we go. And will it stop naturally somehow? I don't know what it's stopping on. Kind of concern, concerns me. But that's not important. Fact is, now we know how big it is back here, how wide, all that good stuff. I gained a little weight in lockdown pandemic. Okay. So now I'll probably slide it forward. I might spin it all the way around again. That sit on the floor station. First off, I, I might not even use it. But you could also flip it the way that video, you know, assembled. 3000, what is it, EXM 3000 assembled. He had it on the other side. And I'm not sure how that would work, what is going to be in the way. I'm going to call it quits for tonight, take a shower, fresh start tomorrow. <laughs> Not tomorrow. Tomorrow might be water heater fun. See what's going on with that thing. And uh, I'll get, get the rest of it going to see how big it is and where it's going to go and start worrying about the weight stacks. Now that we've got so many parts out of the way, I can kind of see what's left and where that's going to go. So catch you next time. Hope you had fun. It's going to be a few hours. You know, th this is the easy part. The big structural stuff is the quick stuff. All the little pulleys and belts and stuff. That's going to take even more time. So uh, let's call this video quit, and I'll be part two, three, four, whatever it takes to, to get this thing together. All right, thanks a bunch. Sports to Paul. Catch you next time.